Welcome to another episode of the Grappling with Life podcast. Today I'm joined by the grappling think tank, uh, Dr. Amir Islami and Dr. of Pain Khair Ismail. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to start. <laughs> so I thought we'd get cracking today with something like quite a um, very important subject here, which is the top five uh, best martial arts films. Ooh. I'll, let, I'll let Coach K start. Top five, <laughs> top five yeah. Top five. So we can all come to a consensus. I was, I was, about, I was about serious. Martial arts films, bro. Martial arts films. Yeah. Enter the Dragon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah okay, yeah. so no, no. you got to start from Did the Did I start here, yeah? You start. I don't know. So where does that fit in your... I'm going to throw them out there. Throw them out there. Throw them out there. We'll, we'll, we'll put them in. We're, eight, we're, we're 80s, baby, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so definitely Enter the Dragon. I agree with you. Blood Sport. Okay. Kickboxer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A-Ward? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, it is a martial arts. Yeah, yeah. Awol, um, no retreat, no surrender. No retreat, no surrender. Oh, but that's the best worst (laughs) martial arts. King of the kickboxes. King of the kickboxes. (laughs) (laughs) So that's four. But you've gone too quick, man. Okay, yeah, that's your four, yeah. That's five. That's five. That's five. 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 So is it? Into the dragon. Into the dragon. Bloodsport. Bloodsport. Kickboxer. Awol and king of kickboxes. King of kickboxes. Okay, so my one, I would no like shoot, to... No shoot, no at six. No shoot, no surrender. So I would throw in Karate Kid one. Mm. Not because of, of what it done for the culture, isn't it? Mm. Not, not for the actual... Does that make sense? No, it's mm. a good movie. It's, it's a good, good movie, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, for, for like it, it, a... It kind of probably got the ball rolling. Technique-wise, yeah. it, it's... Because all Kung Fu films made Kung Fu, like, support yeah. Kung Fu, right? What about The Legend oh. of Fung Sai Yuk? Yeah. By a jet Ong you know Ong Bak's a good film. Ong Bak, got Ong Bak. Muay in. There's loads of stuff. Even, um, did you ever watch Dragon, the Bruce Lee story? Oh, that was Yo, wicked. I, I love that film. I remember watching that. Bro, that was a wicked film. I remember watching that 97, cinema. isn't it? Yeah. Came out. yeah. Oh, no, probably before that, I think. 95, mm-hmm. between 95 yeah. and 97. Yeah. I went to yeah. cinema and people were coming out doing flying kicks. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I swear to God, the first time I've ever seen that, where people got so hyped up, the okay, two guys do, dropped do, it. Do you remember that scene where him and his wife were arguing and he goes, "Want to be a dishwasher?" He goes, "Yes, Mister, be a dishwasher." You yeah. know, he goes, "Bro, he got really into it." Him and his wife. He was uh, as in you when know he went in, to China. He went to China. No, but you'll be nothing but a dishwasher. No, no, that that, 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 that that's when he went to America. But then when he went his wife, yeah, they were arguing, and he said, "You know, I, they used to treat me like a dishwasher." Oh right. And he goes, "You want to?" He goes, "Yes, sir. Okay, sir." Yeah, oh you know, yes, the whole, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, that was emotional, bro. Yeah, bro, was emotional. Then he went, "Yeah," and bro, he punched the thing. Ah! And he I was like, "Bro," I was like, "Yes." I'm and I like the the stuff, really the well, dream bro. sequences as well. Yeah, yeah but about the, your fears, the, the, and stuff. yeah, 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 that was yeah. quite good. As and well. your, your the whole thing about stuff. the chin and stuff. Yeah. What about <laughs> Universal <laughs> Soldier, <laughs> bro? You know, oh, come on, man. No, that's not good. Movie. That's another good. I'm but I've, I've, years. when did when did I think when it hit two thousand? Yeah, for martial arts films, it kind of fell off, bro. Name me another film after two thousand. That was a, I was I would put Matrix down. No, no, Steven Seagal kicked in. But no, no, he no, was. Steven Seagal was, 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 yeah. was, yeah. was the So at that time, you had Van Damme, Steven Seagal. So like between eighty Jet to, to two Jet Li, coming Jet out. Donnie Yen, Donnie Yen, yeah, Donnie Yen, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Donnie but two thousands was like the era Jackie of Hong Back. Jackie Chan, Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan. Yeah, yeah, was, oh my God, God. these are all pre two thousands though. Yes, I'm saying that was after that. The golden era. That's the golden era. But Jet Li started getting more and more like remember Unleash and those kind of things. Yeah, they were serious. But I feel like the culture, you know, like have to watch Unleash, bro. That was such a good film. Go get him, boy. Bob Hoskins. Bob Hoskins in it. Go get him, son. Great movies. But what what I was what I was thinking about the other day, yeah, I was like, that what's happened to martial arts films now? Like, name me one martial arts in the next last five years. I would say John Wick. Yeah, John Wick. Was John, Wick John Wick. Yeah. John Wick. Would you class it as a martial arts film? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. So the thing is, they've got more story. Yeah, yeah. John Wick. Like, whereas story. his dog died, bro. Yeah, yeah but yeah, there's a story bro. around there, isn't the, it? What, what, like, what, 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 what was it called? The Boogeyman. <laughs> the Boogeyman. The Boogeyman. But like, if you look at Rush Hour, bro. Rush Hour. Rush Hour. Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. Yeah, yeah. But if you think about like the older martial arts film, the storylines were like very traditional, innit? Like yeah. you've got the, the sensei who teaches that. Like if you look at blood sport. Real life. Kind of, yeah. Which is kind of like the topic of what we're going to oh, talk okay. about today, about coaching, isn't it? Yeah, K- yeah. Kickboxer, sensei. Yeah. Do you remember Quest? Yes. Oh my God. The that pro. was, I, I like that film. 
That was a little bit. That was a bit right like Mortal Kombat, in it. Cro- bit. When that wrestler, the Turkish wrestler, who's actually his mate, he's who's actually also Brocken. a killer. Is it Rocker? Oh, Kusi, right. The Kissy family. Yeah, the Kissy family. The Kissy family. Yeah. Kissy family. Yeah, I think hey, he's, bring up bro. Quest, Tom Bro's Kissy. His he's, brother's a killer. Yeah, he's he's uh, one one name Mohammed. Mohammed Kissy. Ma- 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 Masu Kissy. Masu, Masu, Masu Kissy. Yeah, yeah. Mohammed and Masu Kissy. And, and bring them up, bro. And also, he was in blood sport. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. When he got his knee popped, he was he was that kick. He was the kickboxer. Yes, and he got his knee popped. Yeah. What's the most, but one of my the most iconic scenes in Kickboxer is you bleed what? like Miley? No, not that. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the. But for me, it was when you hear. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. And the guy, yeah. I think, was it the brother that walks past? Yeah, and then he looks and at him. Like brother, what's that? <laughs> I know the whole. Is it? I know yeah, the do you remember when he went back? He goes, Eric, don't he do, do it. This. Eric, don't do it. I see him and the plaster was falling down. You look like me. Oh yeah. <laughs> he goes, sit down and shut up and watch. You know the brother, was he an actual fighter? Yeah, bruv. He was a bad boy. Was Heavy, he? Heavyweight kickboxer. His accent um, was quite bad to be fair. What's his name? Uh, I don't know, but he was amazing. Oh bro. my God, I forgot his name. Uh, because back in the day, they would get martial artists he used to and fight, make them into movie stars. He used to fight with Hawaiian, um, like, it looked like leave. Oh, oh right, right. Wow. Uh, yeah. Tiki, Palm Tiki. Leaf. Palm leaf stuff. Yeah, but he was, wow. so, he, bruv, he was, he was amazing. He was a really, really good fighter. Kick the Where's tree. the sound? Rem- your brother. Remember? Your brother. You want this? You want this? <laughs> like this? Oh, like this? Oh. All right, that's what we're Not doing on Monday. That, <laughs> <laughs> that's, Mama, that's Monday's class. <laughs> <laughs> that's <all it> out. <laughs> you want me to break my leg? And leave. And leave. <laughs> but why? Forty a bit, is that? I don't want to get kicked off YouTube, bro. Oh, my brother, huh? Ah, my brother. A ah, ah. wicked scene, bro. I'm getting hyped. <laughs> okay, I'm getting goosebumps. Come on. C- can you stop? Can you st- pause it for a sec. Bro, do you think that's real? They, they could yeah. have had... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they do do this. Yeah, yeah. I kicked it I when I was in Thailand. Oh, you did that as well? Yeah, yeah. Is it part of the training? No, no. Oh, you just I did it. Just <laughs> you had to, innit? <laughs> and they went, they went, hey, what are you hey, doing? Hey, that just planted yeah, that tree, no, bro. Like, Why are you doing that for? Ah, uh, you just watched kickboxing. <laughs> <laughs> you know Van Damme? You know Van Damme? <laughs> USA! <laughs> USA! You know what's funny, okay, bro? USA. <laughs> Remember, that's what... Okay, USA. Okay, USA. What is that, bro? <laughs> most random thing in the film. <laughs> and that guy, that guy, the, the, the biker guy. Yeah. He's in kickboxer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, blood no, no he's in blood sport, blood isn't it? Like... What was his? Yeah, what was his martial art? What was his martial art? I don't know. His bar fights. fights. Yeah. Bar fights. He, uh, he's Pat. Uh, Pat Abbott. Uh, what's that? Tank Abbott. Yeah, he's not Tank, tank Abbott. Abbott. No, no, I'm saying. He's, oh, he's, he's like the, he's like like the tank original Tank Abbott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, when Tank Abbott, sorry to go, when he came on the scene, oh remember that God. first time he came on the scene, he goes, he's doing, and he says, the fact I'm moving, and he just went, you ain't ready for me yet. He goes, he, he said something like, you what in UFC? No- yeah, he goes, you ain't seen nothing yet. And bro, when he came in yeah. and he basically whitewashed everyone. He smashed. What was his thing though? He used to bang, bro. He what was, was he, he boxing. He, he trained TOC, didn't he? Yeah. He trained TOC back in the day. But bro, I think his hands were like to leisure, yeah. bro, like a but, fridge. But, uh, but bro, he was. He's like uh, Kimbo, isn't it? Like uh, he's just uh, a brawler, no, no, isn't no, it? No, 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 but he was academic. Mm. I think he had a master's or a PhD in science or something. He was an actual, he was an actual, he was an academic, bro. But he was, ab- he just loved fighting. And, but, <laughs> and I remember the scene where he just went, he goes, so tell me, are you are you cocky? He goes, no, I'm not cocky. What I'm just, there's, there's a bit where he's talking to the uh, oh, you know, Joe Rogan, whoever it was yeah. at the time. It wasn't Rogan, it was before Rogan's time. He goes, so I, I, do you reckon you're cocky? He goes, I'm not cocky, I'm just confident. <laughs> Bro, it was like, you know. And I was like, oh, this Did guy. Did he win the, the UFC? No, no, no. He, he first t- tacked her off, didn't he? O- Oleg beat him. Oleg. Put him, put, uh, like, RNC'd him. Oh, you got good memory, man. Yeah, he's, he's memory a lot but yeah, I love that fight, bro. Oh, there he is, bro. Yeah, yeah he's not well. He, he, he had a liver transplant. He's sick. And a kidney transplant. Yeah, he don't look, he don't look bro, like Bro, did you see Frank Mir's arm, bro? No. Bro, Google this. Frank Mir arm. Why? What's happened to it? The guy thought he had MS in it. His arm is like the size of mine, bro. One arm is the size of mine. And the other arm is huge. Yeah? And he, he, was, he went on the podcast talking about it. He goes, yeah, I thought I had MS. 
What was it? So he he's, he basically yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's disc fused. He's disc yeah, oh, special it's pressure on the And bro, his up, well, like, yeah, you look at he goes. My arm was even skinnier than that, bro. Yeah, wow. yeah. So it's the same thing with bass rooting. See the bass rooting arm. Yeah, what's happened yeah. to bass rooting? I think he had a similar kind of problem. Because he got PND, so peripheral nervous disease. So, so how does it how, how does oh, it well, you, get to that point so, where you're so you're, you're basically the the disc I've I don't know about fusion. But how does it get to that point? How would you get your your how does your is it pinching or something? Yeah, basically the whole disc either it propulses out, so herniates out. It's very rare to get effacement. Oh, but so it's not rare. It's exactly. Do you find it? So basically, you know, if you look at if you look at your nah. so look at your vertebrae, right? So any 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 part of your lumbar spine, there's two bones, and there's a disc, and there's a little bit of what's called it's called the foramen. So there's a little hole that the nerves come out. Yeah. 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 So obviously, it doesn't come out the bone because that would be painful, you know. So it actually makes sense. It's so there's space in between. There's, space the, in there's between. gel like a. There's a jelly. So that yeah. jelly is your disc. So you get that movement, right? Problem is. You get effacement, so you start getting this kind of like uh, the space starts getting tighter and tighter because mm. the disc starts herniating, or you start getting degenerated. How does that disc. happen? Through time, bro, just for wear and tear. But if you didn't wrestle, you wouldn't. No, no, you, you can, but you're not. So I'll give you an example, right? Uh, 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 look at our era. No pain, no gain. What are you talking about? Yeah. No pain, no gain. Yeah. Are you crazy? Yeah. So that's what Recovery and stuff like that. You know, what do you mean? Go back and train again. Like, no, but I need some physio. I need some deep tissue. Where's the hijama? Where's some fine needling? None of that. Yeah, yeah. Right? You're just right. You felt pain. It was good. Like, no, it's not good. So eventually something gives way. Something rips. Something tears. Like today was doing open mat. One of the uh, fundamental boys, really lovely lad, for that he just a little bit of tendonitis. I said, stop. I sit. It's, you're done. I want to, I said, no, get off the mat, you're done. Because mm. that's the stage one, in it? So you've got a little bit of sprain, a little bit of a... Then, s- then and next thing's a rip, and next thing you actually get complete avulsion. So the bone rips off. Oh, this yeah, is ridiculous. The and then you're out of action, and you can never use the arm. You've got lots of movement. It's ridiculous, man. Yeah, it shocked me, bro. Like, you know Frank Mears? Matt, is that six foot three, six yeah, foot four? A big lad. A unit. He goes, I couldn't... What's five pounds in weight? Two kilos. Two he goes, I couldn't kilos. even put... Well, okay. Because I had to assist my arm so, up so me, and then uh, let it come l- down. L- a let me bit. tell you, let me tell you. Um, it's the only picture you... I can find. Yeah, bro, look at his arm. Oh, oh he's right arm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, is that his right? Yeah, his right yeah. arm. Look at his forearm compared to his bicep. Oh. So that means the in- injury was happening at what's referred to as C5, C6. C7, C8, so there's different levels. So C1. As in the neck? Yeah, so if you look at the neck, it goes C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then the nerves that come out a relation to the disc right. right so basically you can tell when someone's got an injury which part of the injury happens it's crazy man it's and people don't take care of themselves bro. simple things man <laughs> but he goes off in my head he goes oh, I'm, i've got ms bro so, so remember the thing but is alhamdulillah it's not ms bro so if you're okay you care what's here from injury as well right we spend t- 20 20 30 40 years developing muscle right yeah this Overnight, use atrophy yeah. Oh my god five days six days yeah yeah your bicep goes from 17 8 inches like 11 inches and yeah. you're like where? Yeah, where's the gone? muscle gone? Yeah. <laughs> that took me and 20 years. And to build years. it back up, it, well, it'll boy. take about six, six to nine months, bro. Or easily, more. Uh, easily. And, and, pain. and the thing is, as well, the guy, um, I can't remember who I was listening to. This guy had a stroke. Full, I think he, he was he's para- not paralyzed, but pro, pro, there's a type of paresis. So there's a yeah, literally of- he can't move. Yeah. So he said that um, his him trying to move his body was like, it was the most difficult thing he's ever done in his life, yeah? And he said it was the most boring, you know the physical therapy? Because imagine something that you do, like pick yeah, up a cup. Pick up a ball, That's become a something that... It's a mountain. It's, 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 it's like something impossible, bro. Yeah. So he was talking about, um, like, his, he goes, I, I used to get distracted a lot. Yeah, so when I had this, op- uh, you know, you, you listen to, you, he goes, I used to listen to music. Um, I used to watch TV, read books and all this stuff, yeah. And when I was training, I would have my headphones on and I'd, I'd train and everything. And even through therapy, yeah. So what he decided to do, yeah, he goes, I was going to cut out all the distractions. Um, and he goes, I'm just literally, gonna, I want to hear my muscles grow, bruv. Literally, I want to concentrate everything on, he goes, only until he did that, did he start feeling, because he was, was in the moment, innit, when he's training. Mm. He goes, oh, because think about it. He goes like, before I never used to think about it because it was easy, right? Mm. It was now it took every single bit of my brain to right. kind of. He was only start. He started seeing a little bit more progression. But I was just thinking about it can get snatched away from you any minute, bro. Hundred percent. Like, and and if you're not careful, 100%. and people get like not even from training, bro. Like, but there's man that fall over and like 
you see what I'm saying? Even choking on your food. You're choking on your food. Like, oh, it's a bit depressing, bro. But, <laughs> no, but, it's, but it's not depressing. But it's, it's just it's to be a thankful. Reminder, a reminder, thankful. yeah. You're thankful yeah. for what you have to hand and what you could not, what you could miss if you're not careful. I saw, I saw a picture of Kurt Angle, bro. Yeah, he looks really. The guy's got no neck and he can't move, bro. He, he's, he has to. He has to have yeah. you seen him trying to turn his. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's and his, his biceps are like. Do you know what Kern Angle used to yeah, be like, bro? He say, must have the same thing, innit? Same Probably, thing. bro. But he did actually injure his neck badly. Yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah. Broke his neck, innit? Yeah, something like that. I think the he fought with a broken disc- neck. But bring up Kurt Angle, bro. Yeah, he. I think his disc completely came out. But he, you know what's funny? He hasn't got a beard, and he's completely got no hair. He just looks like a, a <laughs> thumb, bro. Lama <laughs> <laughs> back. Like he's, he's shaved in his head. He's got really light eyebrows, yeah. No, no, no. See, that's what it used to look like. Yeah, yeah, that was. That, that was, was like. Was. Um, but if you see him in the Olympics, bro, he's he looked like bro. proper. Yeah. In one Captain of those, America, bro. Captain America, bro. Like, like, no, no, when he had hair. When he had hair. He thought, put the match yeah. against Abu Sadid. That's him. That's yeah. him, yeah. Uh, look. look. And then type in Kurt Angle today. It's like a, a diet version of Dana White. Look at his mic. No, no, look, give it that, the topless one over there. The top. He looks all right, <laughs> but he's he's not he's not like big, yeah, innit? But he's like, like 50 now, bro. Yeah, look at his arms. Look how small his arms are, bro. Look. Yeah, 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 yeah. He looks like Bass Ruin. Yeah, Bass Ruin. Yeah. Yeah. So you reckon it's from his uh, neck? Because his neck's still thick. And look at his ch- pectorals, bro. What's wrong with his pectoral? They're, cut, they're small. Like before, they used to be oh big, right, innit? Yeah. Yeah. Like, and his shoulder. Can't his stay shoulder. young forever, bro. Yeah, yeah, it does look bro. like a thumb, though. Lama Berry. Have some fun. But I mean, I'd, I'd take that all day at 60, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know. How, how old is Kurt Angle, bro? Cause he wrestled, I think he was in his twenties and nineteen in that. In the eighties, isn't it? It was not. 80s. In the late, it was late, late nineties. The when early nineties. Nineteen ninety six. Okay, 96, so Atlanta ninety six. So how old is he? So twenty, twenty. Fifty three. Yeah, 53, that's about right. Okay. Early fifties. Yeah, it's about twenty two. But, but he's probably got a body of a seventy year old, bro. Yeah, like it's joints and it's stuff. It's dog years, isn't it? Mm. Dog years. That's what happens when you train like that. Have you seen what's his name? Uh, Dan Gable. Can, can, we, can, shed. can we can we get back to oh my god thank you can we get back to the top five my oh yeah top five so what i was trying to say to you is that in, in, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that's fine that's podcasting it, bro. Yeah. but um like you know before you'd get like a martial artist and then they'll make them into a movie star in it mm. yeah now it's like they get a movie star and they teach him martial arts like you look at john so, wick no no a good one and is, a good one but is he good. trains though he does train yeah but he, he wasn't always like that bro a good example of that let's really not forget example. he made lake house in it <laughs> 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 and Bill and Ted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, so, a good example of what you just said yeah. is the film Green Hornet. Yeah, that's a really good example. Which one? The new, not not the Bruce Lee one. Seth Rogen. Right. Seth Rogen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In the film himself, he's actually tried to model him into a martial artist. Did you see? What do you mean? Like he wasn't a martial. He was a nobody. He was just some playboy, wasn't he? He was nobody. What the, the the Seth Rogen? The Green Hornet. The, the yeah. Green Hornet. Yeah. yeah. So actually, he trained. In the in the actual movie, so if you, you see what I'm saying, yeah, like, right, 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 it's right. the same kind of thing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, like yeah. Green Hornet was wicked. Back but then. I feel like those old legacy type Golden Age films, you, they, you, it's it's. I mean, at the time, yeah, I think if you look at it back at it, the storylines were ridiculous, bro. Okay, so let's but you're not watching it for the storyline. You're watching it for the martial arts bit. Let, let's throw it? a curveball in there. Go on. Wild kung fu films that you can remember back in the day. So, Drunken Master. But they were ridiculous. They oh. were wicked. Uh, one-arm Boxer. One-arm Boxer. Crystal one-arm Fist. Boxer? You never see that? No, no, no. What's that? Wicked movie. Wicked Who's in it? It was one of these, it was one of these Jackie Chan. There was one called uh, Martial uh, Hero as well. No. Ha, 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 Shoe Shine. Do you remember that? Do you remember Snake and the Eagle Shoe Shine. Shadow? Snake and the Monkey Shadow? Yeah. Yes, remember but, uh, right in the beginning the two snake brothers killed the monkey master yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, they, were like, good, they were good they, they were good they were good, good. They were and they'll have to hide the last monkey yeah. guy in the yeah, middle yeah. of nowhere snake in a monkey shadow bro what are you looking at man oh my god what the hell what's that one hour boxer ninja free do you remember American Ninja that was yeah, a good yeah. film yeah he, he, he wasn't he could have fight either yeah they, they can't fight what's what this? was that American Ninja the one where he threw the kid in the water to see if he could swim 
What was the one where he done that? Because there was four parts. Like, like, like one, two, three, four. Ni- I think Ninja it was part, and five, five. I think it was part one. Was it, what was the one? Oh, Undisputed. But undisputed they're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that was a recent one. Yeah. That was like t- 2003. Boyka. Boy, 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 yeah. boy, yeah. boy, yeah. And Warrior was good. I liked Warrior. That was a good one. Boy, it was more of a dramatic film. Tom Hardy and his That was good. That was good. Yeah, American Ninja. Yeah. I think it was American Ninja where this, this you know, the samurai, whatever, Ninja, they, they throw the kid in the water. Only the hey bro, don't, don't you think that's such a 80s baddie, bro? That's Look yeah. Mark Pony the Tales. Mark DeCascos. Mark DeCascos. Mark DeCascos yeah. film. Oh, Brotherhood of the Wolf. Brotherhood of the Wolf. Banging film. But have you seen it recently in that stupid uh, Netflix? Netflix? What's that? Woo. The Woo Assassin. The Woo Assassin. The Woo Assassin. Nah. He was the main guy. I was like, what yeah. the hell's coming? He was good, good in John Wick. I think there yeah. was like yeah. 2001 to about 2004, there was this like, from Indonesia, those films like, Oh, Raid. 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 Oh, yes. You Fall had like... The Knife Fight. What yeah, yeah. Um, oh, Best of the Best. Best of the Best. Oh, my God. Such a good Fini film. Reed was wicked, bro. Best of the Best Part such 3. Such a good film. Wicked Yeah, film. he was good. Such That's a good the film. only thing I know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Eric... Uh, <laughs> Eric the Roberts. Roberts. Eric Roberts. Yeah, yeah. Roberts. Uh, Junior Roberts. Brother. Oh, yeah, 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 him. He's like, Junior literally, Roberts. he was dead in there, though. It was yeah. just a... Uh, yeah, he was just... Oh, The Last Dragon. Oh, my God. Bruce Leroy! Classic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who are you? I am. This is when the Bruce Lee died, didn't it? Yeah. And then they had all these different versions of yeah. Bruce Lee, innit? Yeah. Unleashed, yeah. yeah. Kiss of the Dragon, remember? That Kiss of the Dragon. Kiss of the Dragon. Romeo Bridget. Must Die. Romeo Must that, Die. Do you know yeah. that scene in that, um, when he said, look, please don't hurt her? He goes, all right, mate. And he says, oh, Kung, Kung Fu Hustle, hustle bro. Uh, I didn't really feel you like that. I, I, I think for me, it wasn't really a martial arts film. Yeah. yeah. It, was it was more like a fantasy kind of. It was wild. Well, Transport, no, Transport I didn't like it, bro. Transport wasn't bad. Zach, put that fight scene on on with um, Kiss of the Dragon with the the built black unit guy against. He's British, isn't he? Is he British? Yeah? I think he's British. I think he's former British. I think he's just Kiss, Kiss of the Dragon. I yeah, don't think wait, I've in, seen in France. Man, wicked France. film. I don't think I've Jet seen it. Wicked films. The fight scene, Jet Li, and he's. Oh, Zach, we can't play too much here. Yeah? Which which bit, bro? Go play about 10, 15 uh, seconds. Inside the restaurant? Or yeah, no, no, it's in, in, a, it's it's in it's a... It's a little, it's a little coffee shop. Little, it's, like, it's like some tailor shop. Yeah, tailor. But he's uncle. On it's his uncle's shop. Yeah, just be here. Just go back here. He goes, please, oh, I've says, seen Kiss of the Dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, please don't hit her again. Oh, I've seen this. Yeah, I've seen it. And he slaps him. Wait, 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 wait. Bro, this fight scene. And then the other guy comes in. The black fella comes in. Wow. Oh, he slaps him. Yeah, he slaps him. And then wait, wait, wait. And then they go, keep on going, keep on going. Do I turn up the sound? Let's come here. Go, go to the fit when he fights the, the black guy comes in, yeah? Oh, yeah, when he's leaving He's just the slapping door, everyone, though. Is well, this is it, watch, watch. This is it, he comes in. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, sir, go to me, with the jacket on. Go back. Is, it, is that chick Kango, bro? No, wait, no. wait, 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 look, look. Black leather jacket and well, no T-shirt. Okay. Well, just come... That's how he saw Roll in the tra- <laughs> <laughs> bro, That was a normal bro, thing. That bro, was back look, in the day. bro, look how big he is. He's definitely is a, he a kickboxer. School. Definitely. I, I, I think so. Oi. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Yeah, Kiss of the Dragon. Uh, I remember film. those those Jet Li films in that in that era was. Even, and, uh, and those two brothers, the French guys, and the, they, they were in. Um, 50 uh, something what was that French film where <laughs> the baddie was an Algerian guy <laughs> he Which was one? a drug lord you know you know in Kiss District of Dragon, B13 District B13 District oh, yeah. 30, yeah. Yeah. You, know, you know those runners they're free the, runners yes free runners. I remember them yeah. remember those two guys they were in they actually in Kiss of Dragon they fight Jet Li right at the end yeah, you know those big guys and there's a little guy who used to fight Jackie Chan. That's yes. th- that that was one of my favorite what, what, fight what, what, what scenes. What when he that? comes out the bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. When he put, <laughs> yeah. Come, it comes out a duffel bag, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. bro <laughs> That's man. crazy, bro, man. Bro, he was flexible. Yeah, that was good. What? Jackie Chan, you know, for me, Jackie Chan's fights, you know, the cleanest ones. Yeah, yeah. Him versus Benny the Jet in Wills uh, wow. Wills and Mills was probably one of the best fight scenes ever. Yeah. It's just well choreographed, man. You got that one? Bring that Benny the Jet. Benny the Jet versus Jack, 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 Jack Chan Wheels and Mills, bro. Wicked fight. One of the best. Yeah. Thing. And he keeps doing that thing where he goes, touchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Benny Jet's face, man. Oh, man. Says it all. Bro, this this scene. Look, look at this. look at the kicks, bro. Oh, but my just God. just the scene, man. Look at that. And Summer Hung. And oh, 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 oh come on, bro. bro. Look at that. Do you think that's all real, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah they actually did. And then he he told the story about it as well. 
They don't use strings as well, bro. They don't do any no, strings. No, 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 no. no, that's why he was. That's why he was so good. So what? They're both fighters. Yeah, like proper gun. Benny and Jet was fire. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and KJ, that's Watch when. What's his video kick? He does. Oof. KJ, you know that's when Benny Jet was actually winning tournaments. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, you're going against full force, man. But he looks like Johnny from the block, bro. Like from his, Essex. Oh, he hits, it, hits him with his spinning hook kick. I think we're gonna have to cut it off here, Zach. Hey, that's your homework, guys. Who's that's listening? Go watch. Uh, yeah, wheels on the mills. Wheels on mills. Wheels on mills. Wheels, wheels on mills. Wheels, wheels on mills. Wheels on mills. Yeah. Wheels on mills, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a banging film, bro. Yeah, wicked film. Uh, Even uh, I tell you, never got uh, too much credit. Was Yun Yun Bio? Yeah, he, he was, was his a, boy. It was his boy in this film as yeah, well. In loads of his. So films. basically, it was Summer Hung, Jackie Chan, and Yun Bio. Yeah, They're yeah. all three. They, they call them the three brothers. In, the right, three, yeah, right. Yeah. That whole that whole time. Summer Hung was. Summer Hung was another one. Defied physics, bro. Bro, amazing. Doing martial law. Yeah. The, I the, the series. I just love that. It was it was so good, man. It yeah. was like the the whole East meets East meet, like that. East meet meets West. West. Yeah. That when but they had the Rush Hour era, that kind of. That was, was good. That was good. Yeah, that Rush was Hour was good. Who me? You? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you sit down. <laughs> you talk to no, but, but I think the first one <laughs> was was my favorite, bro. Yeah. Skinny Chris Tucker, bro. Skinny oh. Chris Tucker. <laughs> and you know with Chris Tucker, bro. Yeah, like he 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 probably like. Um, Done that all off the top of his dome, bro. If yeah. you see, if you see the um, the outtakes, it's, everyone's different. Every single one of them is different, different, bro. Yeah, yeah. The dialogue. Because he's cracking jokes. Yeah, he's just crazy. He's just <laughs> I used to love watching the the, the bloopers at the end. Yeah, the yeah. bloopers. Yeah. Yeah. Sixty million dollars. Who do you think you did that? Just <laughs> You know, you know the bloopers for uh, the old Jackie Chan films. Those are painful to watch. Oh my god. Oh, when you miss it, like, miss oh. something or the guy. Or the, you know the women, especially when they get. Because he made them do their own stunts. Yeah. No way. <laughs> but the women, when they go flying, they head butt from, like, oh my God, they quickly pick her up. She's like all over the place. Do you know another amazing scene? Cynthia Rothrock. Oh, and, and that, 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 uh, um, ja that Japanese uh, karate fighter. What's her name? Uh, she's always been Jack Chan. Yeah, yeah, I forgot um, her name. She, Michelle Yeoh. The blonde one. Michelle Yeoh. Oh, oh, Michelle Yeoh, yeah, yeah. But them that two. Was wicked. I don't Cynthia Rothrock. Cynthia Rothrock was, Rothrock was What happened one. to her? Just me. The blonde girl. Yes, yeah, Rothrock. Short, she was like she, always she, on Black oh, no, Belt wait, magazine, wait, wait, isn't wait, wait. it? How about the the American guy? What's his name? The Australian guy? Oh, uh, 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 oh my I know, God. I know what he's talking about. Um, he was always a bad guy in it. Blonde he, hair. You know the uh, wicked kick. Norton, Richard Norton. Norton. Richard, Richard Norton. Norton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he had that uh, uh, American Indian looking guy on a motorbike. What was his name? Oh, uh, Dakota. Dakota. Dakota, with the Dakota thing. Yeah, yeah. What was his name? Keith Cook. Keith Cook. He's another one, bro. But what happened to these guys? They just Keith Cook. I actually Google Keith. He's got a martial arts club. Somewhere. In oh, is it? Yeah. So he teaches. He just teaches. I think kind of went out. I, I, went I out think, the. I think they all got their. Back but do you think for, JJ, since MMA? <laughs> 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 you know, you know, you know since do you reckon since MMA started, like you know, like I would say the second wave. You know, like the GSP. The era. GSPs and what's that? A Brazilian. Uh, uh, Anderson Japanese Silva. Guy. What was his name? Oh, um, Machida. Machida. Uh, Machida and stuff. All those guys are striking. I feel like also in. with with what's happening with all these fake martial arts are coming out as well. Yeah. I think that old, the whole golden era, bro, that people just forgot about all that, bro. They did look at it like, but that's kind of where MMA came from, bro. Mm. You know, all these guys used to cross train, but yeah. do you see what I'm saying? A lot of them, bro. Look at, uh, what's that Filipino guy, Bruce Lee's student, what's his name? Oh, Danny uh, De, 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 De Santo, bro. De Santo? In the Santo. In the Santo, yeah. yeah. So they used to cross train, but obviously like, I think- well, actually Bruce's student, but also Bruce's teacher. He taught me to use the sticks, didn't he? So. I think Bruce Lee was the pioneer of yeah, he was pioneer. MMA. MMA, yeah. It, you remember, remember that scene philosophy. in, uh, was it Enter the Dragon? 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 Yeah. It was an MMA fight. Yeah, he gets it. Like, Arm bar, bar came yeah. out. And even the gloves and stuff. He had right. the gloves, the, sh the, the yeah. speedo shorts. Where do you reckon he got that from, bro? I don't know. No, it was his journey in it. So I think- Do you reckon he went to Brazil on it? Do you reckon he was- No, no, no. I don't think he done anything like that. I think what he was- Because that was before Brazil, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, no, the, the, no, no, the Gracies were there, but they were in Geese, bro. No, not but do you, in, not do you the think 70s. he was aware of them, bro? No, not in the 70s. Yeah. They were, they were, they were, they were there in the 70s? Yeah, yeah. bro. Six, 60s, Yeah, 70s. but you think about Helio Gracie. When he fought, he fought. No, no, they went in, it wasn't it in was, America. No, 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 no. I'm saying yeah. he's probably like aware geese. of them, though. Yeah, but they used to still come in on Geese as his own. They weren't like, the Carson Gracie era was probably late 70s, early 80s when they came in the Speedo shorts. And you see them come in. What I was trying to say is, do you reckon Bruce Lee was aware of it. As you know, no social media. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but he's that's a student, that's isn't it? No, Do you know what I'm saying? I, I, he no, might no, have no, been. But I said to you, I think that's why he's a great, because what he's- He developed it on his he's, own. Bro, he, yeah, his whole yeah. thing was, oh, that doesn't work. How? Because mm. even when he's, he was talking about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, he said, what's the point Kareem Abdul-Jabbar learning judo 
because who's he gonna hit throw? <laughs> That's so true, yeah. bro. So he, he goes, that yeah. art, he goes, that art doesn't suit yeah. those type yeah. of people. So he yeah. goes, yeah. find things that suit you, yeah. which mm-hmm. is correct. Yeah. And I think just that thinking was why he, d- so. it, like, he's a pioneer in all this stuff. I was I was watching this clip. Even in their book, he's got one chapter on grappling, on wrestling takedowns. I still haven't read that book, man. J- uh, the, what is Tau- it? Tau- 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 yeah. But there was a guy talking about, like, he was saying that even for strength and conditioning as well, like he was ahead of his time. Yeah, because yeah, he, he even messed around with like drugs as well, bro. Like we're talking, I say drugs, but like um, perform like creatine. I might as well not taking creatine, like like. Yeah, but that was the t- whole bodybuilding area, though. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so he was like intri- for martial arts. It didn't cross over into martial arts, didn't it? So he was he was really. But kind I of think, but he was on that journey of, which is what people do now. How can performance, I be, innit? How yeah. can I be the best at yeah. what I do? Yeah. Yeah. Which is what they do now. Yeah. I think I trained with. Um, I trained with a, a, a famous trainer called Howard Rainey. It was a boxing coach, and he had so many world champion stuff. When I when I trained with him, he uh, he was a pioneer. Yeah, in UK, he, he was a pioneer of like really um, new kind of like you know everything that we do now. So pa- he he used to he used to do you know parachute running. Okay. Yeah. So he we used to, he used to do that with back bags and stuff back in the day. Oh, yeah. So now that became a thing. Now he used to make his boxers balance on certain boards. It's 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 funny you said it because um, I remember when we went to buy the kettlebells, and Razor was saying to me uh, again, someone I, I take a lot of advice from because he he was several years ahead of his time. He'll say, "Bro, don't make fun of these kettlebells. Watch in ten years' time. This is like 1998." And I went, what do you mean that? Da, 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 da. And I was, and he goes, strong no. thing, yeah. He goes, don't make fun of it. He goes, you watch one day, everyone's going to be doing kettlebells, power clubs, bands. He goes, you watch. We went to this um, kettlebell shop that was all shutting down. And they're just selling like dirt cheese. They just buy them all. Like, wait, what, 200, 300 pounds. We just, lo- all the stuff we got in the gym, just yeah. loaded it all up. And we're talking about... How were those kettlebells, bro? I think we bought them in 97, 98. So those kettlebells in the gym? No, no a lot of them were f- recent. They look like the old there. ones. Yeah. Ones that are all chipped off, especially the power clubs. Uh, not all of them, probably a handful of them. A lot of them I bought online because this, I don't know how things go missing in the gym, but Whoa. things just go walkies, you know? <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> saying nothing. <laughs> you know? But so, so do, you, do you understand? Like, yeah, so, yeah. so it was like you, you, didn't, you, you couldn't see that. You know, even uh, this whole thing about grip training and, and all that kind of, you know, strength training, that perspective. I, I take a lot of advice from him on that. I think also, like... Do you feel like now? So okay, so I just say so I give something like we we were doing we were doing a session once and I bring kettlebells and bring power, battle ropes. Uh, I think it was like two thousand and two thousand and three, two thousand and four, and everyone's like, "What are you doing?" I said, "This guys just do what I'm saying." And I remember I sat there with Tony Tony, Tony Agostini, and yeah, the Tony, guys yeah. head of his time, and he was doing what is like what you what today you would know as CrossFit, but back then it was like it looked like weird stuff. He goes, "Do this, do this. This will help with your training." Da, da, da. And we sat we had a long chat. I started doing it with people know like this is they firstly they wouldn't appreciate it, but the only people that appreciated it were those who are already in performance training. So we had that wrestler jam shit. He came up to me, goes, Brother, you know this this is he used some profound language. He goes, X, Y, Z <laughs> you must not never stop doing this. You must do in my country like this we train. Cause like he goes, Tell everyone else, basically, go away. <laughs> in yeah, a it's true. very impolite way. Yeah. I think Sometimes you get too like the because simple stuff. Remember, is the you, know ones it is, that you know, it is because we haven't got Olympic gold medals, people don't want to listen. Yeah, so but I, I think also as well, there's a lot of info. I guess sometimes we get questions for in the gym, yeah, like people go on YouTube, yeah, and then they're listening to it. There's nothing wrong with it, yeah, it's got go on the gathering. Get, but the thing is, that's where it stops. Who, who you listen to. Exactly, that's yeah. another thing as well. Like how do you know who to take from all that because stuff? It, I was just having uh, this talk with uh. Alex, one of my students, he sent he sent me a really good breakdown. Um, someone done a breakdown of Mike Tyson's fighting, and this breakdown was really good, mashallah. But this guy that done the breakdown, he's actually a pro fighter. So what he was discussing is how he, how um, how he how quickly he declined after Custom Out died. Mm. So what and when you watch who, who Mike Tyson? Yeah, when you watch when you actually watch the fights, and because I had I used to have Mike Tyson all these all the all his fights, wow. and I watched every single one. And you can and, see it, and you can you can you can blatantly oh. see it. So his whole game, slipping, moving, setting up with the jab, that all disappeared. So it was very much like one bang. Above, who who trained him after Costa Model? So there was Kevin Rooney, 
That um, was custom one of those uh, so basically second, those, second there was three people. So um he f- it was Teddy Teddy Atlas. Oh yes, yeah. And then Teddy Atlas left, he had a problem with him. Because his daughter, isn't it? Yeah, something like, yeah. yeah. And then and then Cus- and then uh, Cus- then uh, when Ke- when he died, Kevin Rooney took over. But then it, like Don King came into the picture, yeah. fired Kevin Rooney, then all these stuff. And you can see like it just it was a mess after okay, that. Wouldn't, wouldn't you be scared to rear someone like that in your gym? Risk. R- 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 if R- Mike R- Tyson came into your gym, yeah, how like, how, how would you like rear today? Him? So this is a good point, yeah. So now oh, we're going to go to what today's because, subject is about coaching, you, you, bro. You, ne- you nearly have to make sure he sees you like his father. Yeah, but you can't have any other students, bro. If you're going to work with Mike Tyson, because Catskill Gym, because uh, a lot of people's like, like remember was that, it just Mike Tyson? No, no, that's, that's what everyone thinks. It's mm. like, yeah, Peekaboo style. Yeah. It's a style. It's like you know when people go, oh, why are you doing Peekaboo style? Because it's like hey, who was the, who was his student before? There's loads, man. There's the, pa- uh, Patterson, Oscar, Oscar Suarez. Same, same, same. There's so many. So in so many, they all had the same style. They came with the same black sh- boots, no socks. But it's a system, though. It's mm. a system that is the smart thing. So when you when you when people pe- when people say, "Oh, why are you doing peekaboo style?" That's like saying to someone, "Why are you doing karate?" So why are you standing like this for? Right. Or, mm-hmm. It's like it's a style that people can adopt and, and use and develop their own way. So Floyd Patterson fought that way. He used to do the leaping left hook that Mike Tyson done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you yeah, see yeah, it, yeah. but Mike Tyson. It just suited him yeah. better. Mm, his body. It just d- l- a lot yeah. of things were Me- if mechanics wise. Yeah, yeah it just fitted yeah. nicely. But I'm saying to you now, yeah. Yeah. Say Mike Tyson walked into your gym tomorrow. Okay, there's a difference though. A we, Mike Tyson, not this him. This is what we always talk about, though. Yeah. And, I, and we always said this before. You have trainers and you have coaches. Mm. Yeah. So Hamdler, I think you know, with us lot at our clubs, I would like to think that we're coaches. Because I've always said, even last podcast, I said to you last time, I go, our whole thing is, life is hard, we build strong people. Mm. So we're trying to educate people, not only in fighting, but in life. And I think Mike Tyson is someone that would need that. Like you would yeah, need to yeah. get him underneath your wing. Yeah, yeah. And that's what that's what you're but about. But didn't, didn't Cosmo actually do that? Yeah, did. Like a, and obviously when he passed away, yeah. he became an orphan again. He's like, where, where do I go now? He was lost. But even this, bruv, look, subhanAllah, when you listen to he the story. He lived in his house, right? He lived in his house, right? Yeah, but Shay, listen, I said to someone, imagine if you wasn't destined to meet this person, or these people weren't destined to meet, or this was Qadr of Allah, like kind of thing. He went to jail at 13, yeah? At that point, when he was in his jail cell, something made him stand up, look out the window. Two mm. boys were walking and they had bruised eyes and they were laughing. He goes, what? These guys had just had a fight and they're laughing about it, giggling. Where did they go? They went boxing training. Mm. So now he wanted to go box training. Where he went to do boxing, the person that was there was Cus Tomato's friend. He saw Mike Tyson and said, Cus, you need to see this guy. Took him there. But if they weren't meant to meet, mm, 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 mm. It, when you think about yeah. like so yeah. many things had to, ha- yeah. had to happen, that yeah. guy had to be there. He had to know Cus. Yeah. Yeah, fate, yeah. yeah, it's fate, man. And it's like then you can see, like, like you, you leave this legacy. Kind I of think thing. a lot is said about Customer as well, like obviously his his skill and his uh, his fatherly kind of uh, thing. But what about Coach. Mike Tyson at the time? Okay, but those he had you. to be ready to receive all that, innit? Yeah, because now he needed love. Yeah, I think he never had love, and even yeah. like now, when you watch him, you can he see pain. You can see he's pain, pain bro. He's but when I see him now, you think skin like you, he's. Yeah. Remember the time we just asked and he goes, it's all junk. Yeah. yeah. It's all junk. The, the medals it's, and it's all junk. All the bus is all junk. I don't want this. I, I, I think... He's always talking about peace, isn't he? Peace of yeah. mind. Yeah. Even Jeff Thompson talks about peace, peace of mind. Everyone, yeah. I think, I, I, when you when you fight and you get... When you go to the stage, you start realising, okay, I've done that. Now I'm in another part, another stage of my life. Yeah. But um, I think, again, if you were just to look at training people, uh, he wouldn't have lasted. Yeah. What he, do you mean? If you just went to a trainer, oh, a I trainer, see what yeah. you're saying. It would just be customer. Cust- oh, became. His, I think he saw something in him, mm-hmm. and it was like this. This do, kid do, needs do love. Remember, he said about the thing about you take a flame and you waft it, and it gets bigger and bigger yeah. and bigger. But it's to control it. Yeah. To keep that fire controlled. And also, he didn't just teach him fighting. So every single day, you hear the stories like every single day he would like. Uh, what's the difference between a coward and a hero? Pearls, what, pearls of wisdom. He, yeah, every character system. building, character yeah. building, tarabia, tarabia. 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 So yeah. he built, yeah. he Most built all sure. of this. Do you remember, remember that conversation about? Look, I know Mike. When you look at that guy, he looks ten foot tall. But know that he's thinking that about you. Well, that kind of that yeah. is that your dad's giving you advice now. Yeah. And Not even if you watch him out, watch a couple of the fights. Yeah, you know, he's, after, cr- he's crying in the thing before the fight. Before the fight, but yeah. even after he fights, you see him. He's like a like a little puppy. He wants to jump everywhere, and they're saying to him, "Calm down, like, you're like relax." And then he's like, "Okay, okay." Because he had some sort of guidance where people were telling, 
Later on. Is that Mr. Miyagi and Karate Kid? Bro? Yeah, but later on it became him dictating everything. Yes, that's the problem. And that's where it changed. So the child, there's a child in, in a shop. He wasn't ready. But you, you're, you're looking like, at a kid in a candy store and there's no one controlling I mean, People him. forget, man. He was 20 years old. Oh, or 19, 19, 20 years old when he won the head. Yeah. He looked like He became a, a multi-millionaire. Bro, but imagine your brain at 20. Oh, and dealing with all that stuff. And, and not just his, no, but no, his no, brain. No, 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 his yeah. brain. Well, his upbringing. Also, yeah. no adab, no akhlaq, yeah, no telibir, no, no training, no, no fear weary, of Allah, bro. No fear of God, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Complete, I don't care. And he had that customer, that, that figure that was controlling him. God. I say controlling, that was giving him... He, he, was, he was Mickey. He guided him. He was Mickey. He was Mickey, yeah. He was yeah, Mickey he was Mickey. He that went, now all you have is sharks around you. Don King, biggest... Biggest Biggest shark, bro. yeah, yeah. Only in America. Yeah. <laughs> so he just saw him as a cat. He milked him. Yeah, one time. And everyone around him, bruv. Yeah. And then that's why you see cash where cow, he is bro. now. Yeah. Cash it was a cash cow. cow. He's it. been, he was been like, used and abused. So like when you get, when you, I think when you get- <clears> When uh, you receive students like that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it is, it's more about caring for them, to be honest. But I think also it's keeping them in check because we know this and Gabe, we was talking about this before. You start getting these gym monsters that are growing and if you don't control them, they get out of control, and yeah. then and then literally, you're stuck. Yeah. You're stuck. I think I think it's multifactorial. Don't depends you feel on the like parents, now, depends yeah. on us, on them, and I think K hitting it on the head. There's you're either a supervisor, you're a mentor, you're a coach, or you're a trainer, and I think the embodiment of the coach is all of them. So you're keeping an eye on them, you're there for them, you're guiding them, you're speaking to them, you're giving them a paternal figure. You know, and I think there's a you know the problem with coaching, K. There's a lot of energy involved. Oh, man. Yeah. I remember, it's hard, bro. for example, I remember uh, I became a counselor. Yeah, yeah. I literally yeah. became a counselor. That's I remember I used, to, is, I used to coach people and they would hit the pads, they'll go, one, two, boom, boom. Then they'll start crying. Yeah. And then for the whole hour now, I'm it's sitting with them and I have to yeah. give them advice. Crying yeah. about hitting pads? Just, no, no. <laughs> Their life. Oh, right, right. right. <laughs> yeah. Then they cry after, kind of after, the, after the session. <laughs> <laughs> they start crying. Yeah. So then what happened is it's like you kind of... It kind of. Like, I remember another guy I trained, yeah. Um, and Spanner, like, I didn't see him for a little while. He came back, and, I, and he walked in. And in my head, I was like, "This guy's lost loads of weight." Mm. And, I, and in my head, I was, I was gonna say to Mario, "You lost loads of weight," but I didn't, I didn't say nothing because it did, didn't, it didn't look right. I had a conversation. Then after five ten minutes, I, 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 I'm walking and I keep bumping into people. Mm. So basically, mm -hmm. he's got uh, big in his stages of onset uh, MS. Yeah. So now. How do you train these guys? Mm. So like now, it's it's no longer about yeah, bruv, we're gonna be heavyweight champion. Well, this guy's just trying to he survive. Just, he just he just wants he needs energy. He, need, he, need he needs something. Energy. Yeah, he needs something energy. just to help him. And then so did, did you watch, you watch the, that little girl fight yesterday? Who was disabled down below? They put her on the mat. I didn't really, see her. No, I was, I was nearly in tears, bro. Oh, Jujitsu yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't see it. Very very sweet. Oh, and I was like, you know, like just giving someone some outlet. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think as coaches, you have that paternal figure that you're trying to not embody but you, 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 you're you giving it to them because you know when you was an athlete you wish you had that what do we get we we okay alhamdulillah we had some people who might be supporters but we just went and learned how to not get killed but just I took think a beating every time I went to a different club and you started going back thinking I mean, how many limbs you broke stupid things you break a limb you break this you break that you injure your neck and then you're like he didn't have no one saying hey don't do that do this you know I remember um, and I think I want to talk about the other side of things as well because the coaching side we can get into it as well yeah. Mm. but like I think when you're a coach yeah and people come to you you give more than you than you take that, they don't realise that but as a coach you're just giving yeah you, you're, you're, you're emptying you know that, that famous picture of a father and son yeah Oh, there's a, there's a hole. There's yeah. a hole. There's a jigsaw puzzle. There's a jigsaw and, and, puzzle. And, he, and he's taking Have it out. Have you seen that one? It's amazing. And you're, it's bu you're building your child yeah, with your so pieces. Yeah, you're taking a piece. And then there's a pit, there's the, on, on the side, there's, a, the, the, there's like the, the kid. And the kid is made up of the jigsaw of the dad. Okay. The yeah. dad's just a shell. Yeah, yeah. yeah Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel the coach is the same. Yeah. But some, the difference between father and son, yeah, is that sometimes your student doesn't reciprocate. Yeah. He doesn't see you in that light. Mm. Does that make sense? And we've yeah, all experienced, I'm sure like, you both experienced it's, it's nearly yeah. like, so it's, it's nearly yeah. like a stepfather. He's told by his, remember that scene from, I don't know. You're not my dad. Remember that Superman scene? Really just before his dad. Oh, Man yes, yes. Man and of Steel. Superman, Matt Superman says to uh, Kevin Costner, you know, he says, you know, you don't, you're not even my real dad. And he went. Yes, that's basically it. And, when you, and then that scene where he's, it's even up until that point. Yeah. 
he's still trying to protect his son. He says, "Don't, don't save me, because if they see you, yeah. they're gonna hunt you down like, yeah. like an animal." Yeah. So he let he even died, yeah. even after hearing, "You're not even my dad." He's still, he's still a thing. So, so that's what I'm saying. So it's that feeling that they don't. You're like, I'm treating like my son. Remember that scene, uh, 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 Rocky, Rocky Five. I was gonna bring up Rocky Remember Five. That? Yeah. Remember that scene where he goes, he goes, he's sitting there going, <laughs> and he goes, "I want to thank." He's like an angel in my corner, and you can see Rocky. Jake Sides. He's getting so happy, and he goes, so and so, and he went. It was his promoter, the Don King yeah, type. He, he took his hat off and he goes, and then his son goes, it's okay, dad, you know, like, and he's like, yeah, it's like his heart just got crushed. Yeah. How many so of those suckers we had come through our life? That's what I'm saying <laughs> to you. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> so that's what I wanted to pick up, because obviously we don't have to say names, yeah, but I feel like this is important that we address this, because a lot of guys that listen to the podcast... Say I've, my name, say <laughs> my name. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that have got a coach and they're training... Yeah, and, and, and I feel like, for me, I'm very traditional, bro. Like, when I first started training, I remember my dad took me to a club, yeah? And he said to me, this is your dad, bro. Yeah. That's what he said to me, bro. He goes, you don't... He goes, if you disrespect him, you disrespect me. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. Then what happened was, this person that we first started training with, he was one of those McDojo guys. Mm. Yeah? Then what happened was, a guy came from Algeria... And um, he so <laughs> he like, killed everyone. Yeah, so he he was a black belt in Algeria, bro. Yeah, and he came over, and um, this guy. So he came over with, he, with one of his coaches, uh, Sensei Sharif, bro. He's a bit top G in Algeria, bro. Yeah, he's about in his seventies now. Yeah, That's right. and he put them through training. So like, he, as I think of it like a seminar almost. My dad kind of hooked it up, bro. We were all dying, bro. Yeah. So my dad saw this. And it was like, man, there's no diff. Like this is a night and day, yeah. So about two, three years later, his student came back. He was living in England, so my dad took me out of that club and put me with this guy. He goes, now, he goes, your this guy's that's your dad. Do you understand? Mm. I've the problem is, bad people have bad, but they're not dads. That's it, bro. That's it. <laughs> that's what, it. But but the thing, yeah, yeah, too many. Yeah, but the thing is, in. because I was little, yeah, I was only twelve, yeah. yeah? So I, I started training when I was nine. So about twelve years old. Yeah, and I started training with, with this guy. Wallahi, I'm not joking, bro, yeah? To this day, to this day, even though I don't train uh, karate anymore, yeah? I've never trained with anyone else. Sure. Even people came came to me and said, come and train them. I go, no, I'm not going to yeah. train. And I, I would, and there, there was no going to train at another club or anything. That that doesn't, that didn't, that didn't fly, bro. You, tra you train with me. He put, but the thing is, bro, but you, he, mm -hmm. when I look back at it, bro, yeah? He used to spend Saturdays with me. He used, but he never charged me for training, bro. Yeah. He'd take me out. He'd pay for my food, bro. Like you know, as a little kid, you don't. You, you, you don't, don't realize. That. You don't realize. No. But as an adult, bro, he spent so much time with yeah. me, bro. Yeah. Like um, even his own kids, he, he wouldn't see his kids as much as he'd yeah. see me, bro. Yeah. Well, and our family suffered, bro. Does that make sense? Yeah, I don't bro. want to say it in a bad way. I mean, they they came to the gym with us. They trained, but we were not. We we've given up that quintessential time. But that's what I'm saying. So. Like when when you're when you when you accept something, that's why it's very difficult. Like if you look at a club, yeah, there are different types of students in it. There are students that have been with you like 15, 20 years, yeah. They're not the same as, as the person who's walked in f ten minutes ago. Do you get me? Or trained with you a year. Yeah. Now, when when the person that you've been training with, or or who you've been coaching and pouring into him, that when that person decides overnight that you're not my coach anymore. That, that's for what reason I don't know yeah. Yeah? yeah and doesn't have that conversation with you doesn't like but always thinks the grass is greener it, basically Rocky 5 Tommy Gunn was it Tommy Gunn Tommy Gunn yeah now that person's head is turned by someone else yeah they've gone now you know that person what, that your, your what, student what, what, is looking at me like this. Okay, yeah. what, 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 what did Polly say you should have left him on the streets when he found him <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> but, but what, what I'm saying is like you know everything about this person. Yeah. You know his character. You know what what he's like when he's lazy. You know what he's like. What 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 to say when he's in a when his head is down. You know that so one student he's too gassed. You need to knock him down. The other student he's too he's too shy. You need to build him back up again. Does that make sense? All mm. these things. And this person's gone to someone else. Yeah. Mm. That person doesn't know what you know, bro. And very. But if you look at MMA, bro, yeah. How many this is professional sports, yeah? But if you look at fighters, how many have gone to another coach 
and prospered, bro. But we, we've seen that. It's that, very that, rare. Remember, it's remember not that, like... We've seen that, that even that Polish girl, she left her club and she got smashed. Who, jo- Joanna? Joanna. Yeah. Yeah. Her, her club came to me. Is it? Yeah, so their coach is... You know, so Mohamed Khalidov used to train there. Who? So Mohamed Khalidov, KSW champion. Okay, right. So right. he used to train. Very good fighter, mashallah. Um, so they, they yeah, team. See that savage you told me about. Look, uh, yeah, he was very, he's very, very good. But KSW, oh. he retired and stuff, but okay. very, very good. The, 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 that Polish team was good, kid. Very, very good, very yeah. good team. But Hard you know what working. it was? I yeah. met them, and they were lovely guys. Yeah, it, it it doesn't sit well that she's their student. And it just it was like and maybe she might have been good yeah, with yeah. them at that yeah, time, yeah. and then it was like at in that, her head it was like I don't want to live in Poland no more. Yeah. I need to be living in America. So, and the thing is though, you know what? I think I battled with this for a long while, and then then I, I came to that whole thing like. You know what, bruv? People are like this and you're not going to change them. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, so. bruv. Me as a coach, I will do my best with people. Sure. And then whatever wh- whatever outcome, if you if you appreciate what I, what I give, alhamdulillah. If you don't, no problem. I don't, I don't, I don't lose the sleep over people. Of no course, more. of course. I don't, I, don't, I don't lose sleep over that because why? I think, number one, I wouldn't be... If, if, I, if I hold that resentment, then mm. that's going to come out on the next person. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't yeah. want that to come out on the next person. <laughs> you, know, it come, you know, it comes to mind. Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. When Tung, Tai Lung done all that madness, and then that other he's trying to that other it was uh, um, the tiger, the, the, tig- the tiger, the, t- the leopard girl, yeah, oh, the tiger girl, T- yeah. tiger girl, tigress, who, tigress, tigress, yeah. who plays that um, Angelina Jolie, Angelina yeah. Jolie, yeah. She, she she's trying to like, and he's like, no, you're not good enough, don't look <laughs> at me, because he poured all his love to Tai Lung. Oh, Remember that scene? Yeah, yeah. it's the same thing, bro. It's yeah, a really yes. good scene. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot, there's lot, there's lot of hick my list. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, have think, you have to think like... No, but unless, when you get to a certain coach, age, you kind of look at things differently. That's what I'm saying. As a coach, you're like, damn, I, I relate to that. That's but Sheikh, even in life though, you know, I, I, I've always said this in life, I will never ever sacrifice my good traits for bad traits. Yeah, 100%. Like, I wouldn't, it it just, won't make you a bad person. Just because so. you've hurt me, and that means nah. I'm going to start being bad to other people oh, because yeah, you've yeah. done something to me, I have oh. to be like that to other people. But if you're bad to me, yeah, that's your character. Yeah, you so show yeah. me who you yeah. are, that's it, done. So. Alhamdulillah, bro, that's it. Yeah. Like, I think that's for us as coaches because people are going to come and go, bro. Yeah. And, and I, sometimes I think they might be shy to tell you like yeah. that yeah. they need they want to go to other place. Yeah. They might not find what they need in you. Yeah. That, I, I, I personally, that, that's not the issue here. The issue, the issue? The, I think personally. He's trying to so, stir us up, bro. So, no, want, I'm not trying to stir you up. Don't try to stir. You no, want no. to see the bad side? No, bro. I don't want to see the bad side. <laughs> I, I, my, my, for me, it's less about. Tell him, bro, bro. He's trying <laughs> to kick you off, bro. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm <laughs> saying, can I just. Let me finish this. I'm, I'm not saying that. I think as a coach, you, you have to have a big heart and you have to be accommodating. And you have to let, like you said, you have to let a lot go. I'm talking from a student's point of view. So if, as a parent, yeah, if I brought my child to you at five years old or seven years old, and I'm like, right, me as a dad, I need to understand, right. Yeah, but what is the Nia? Again, this is it. But we know, that was I'm saying to you, Mohammed, you're talking about different people. Look, what, what is the intention of you, the first person? Like, say if I, if I came to train with Amir, First, what is my intention to train with him? Am I coming? I came, I had people who used to come to the gym, Chef, just to take pictures to mm. post on their Insta, and you can see it. Mm. Do you get it? Like, oh, can I take a picture with you? It's like, oh, all right, cool, no problem. I'm, why do you want to do that for? Why don't you just do the session? Uh, and, I, and then it'll tag you, I just finished training here, and it's like, why? Like, yeah. do you get what I'm saying to you? So, you, their intention was one thing. Mm. I had other people come to me, you train them. Someone whispers in there, you know, you should be earning twenty thousand pound a fight. Twenty thousand pound a fight. <laughs> and when they come to me and tell me that, I laugh at them. I said, twenty thousand pound. I go, who are you? <laughs> but honestly, who are you? What have you done to earn twenty thousand pound? UFC fighters get contracts in UFC. Their first fight is twenty thousand pounds. You're not even a UFC fighter. Why do you warrant? Why do you think you can demand that much money? And it's like they. they and then once that seed goes in the head, it's, uh, it's cancer, bro. You're trying to hold me oh, back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're against me. Tommy, like, Tommy Gunn, bro. It is Tommy Gunn. It's honestly. literally, bro. It that is story, it is. bro. Uh, who's, whoever's listening Tommy to this, God, you know watch again. Rocky Five. Yeah, 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 Rocky, bro. Rocky Five is an underrated film, bro. I think because everyone has gone. But Rocky Five will tell you the life of a fighter yeah. all the way up to a coach, everything. 100%, and it's, and it's bro. Exactly he got bro. it spot on, bro. But he was even holding that. Bub, you're telling about coaches. Rocky was holding the spit, spit bucket, bucket. Yeah. and the guy sent him, Why are you holding it for? You're better than that. Yeah. And the guy's spitting in the thing and he's going all over him. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mad, bro. And that's what, bro, I remember t- telling people, I go, I remember I used to hold people's stinky feet to the make them correct them. in their position. And they forget that, yeah. that you was doing that. Yeah. So, 
Like I used to hold their foot and I put your foot like this. I, I think I think one of the problems we've had and probably reason why we have got these unfortunate Ronins lurking everywhere. And actually, if you want, um, and this is this is not uh, we're, okay, we're not we're not digging. It's not a bitter that. thing. No, it's it's not, more like no. raising awareness and no. making people understand. But the thing, I'll give you an example. Look, yeah. we we never saw that much when we were growing up because you never had social media. You kind of stuck with your coach. You kind of believed that they were helping you and guiding you. And you know, when you went to compete, it was literally like even if you lost, you're like, no, I'm staying. I'm not going anywhere. But I spoke to you, I spoke to you earlier. Can I just say one thing though? Mm-hmm. I saw something yesterday, and I loved it. There was a man, he goes, he's, he comes home quickly and his daughter's standing there. He goes, he goes to his daughter, she's in her pajamas. He goes, she's only about six, seven years old, but this is ride or die, ride or die, yeah? He goes, I'm, I got, I'm having a fight with someone's dad and he's got a daughter, you need to come with me to fight her. She goes, come, let's go. <laughs> I was like- Yesterday, yeah? I saw, uh, it, was it was a, a meme video. of it. It's, 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 it's a challenge. Well. But he's saying to his daughter, I need you to come. And she was so cute, she goes, okay, let's go. He goes, I need you to fight the girl. And it was like, that's the loyalty mm. that you would want. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, okay. But, but Kate, it goes back to what you said before, isn't it? And, I'm, and again, we're not we're not agreeing with the narrative, but you can see why in a lot of these old cultures in the Far East in Japan, father, son, father. Yeah, yeah, of course. Son. Because uh, there was an elemental thing about, ah, you know what, he's my dad. At the end but not next year. I think, you know, the father to son thing, you know your children. Mm. So when you teach your children, they're raised with certain ethics, mm. morals, mm. Uh, certain they, they, characteristics. They, they can still be punks. Yeah, they can still be punks. But, 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 but you'll know them. Yeah, yeah? so what happens? When it, when, <laughs> when, when, no, but the thing is though, when, when you have a student that comes to you, he's training with you one hour a day. I don't yeah. know what you do 23 hours a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I met one of my students today and I was actually in a coffee shop. He came and he goes, oh, sorry coach, I haven't been there for a couple of weeks. My friend got stabbed. Oh, uh, okay. Um, first thing I asked him, I was sitting there, let him finish. He goes, I, I, it really broke me. I've been there. He's, he has to... Um, he lost in the bag. Or yeah, the bag kind of thing mm-hmm. now. I said, I'm skiing. Does he, is he in the gang? Mm. Uh, he, and he, and above, mm-hmm. we've been, I've been around to... Um, uh, no, not really. But was it a gang problem? Yeah, it was. Oh, okay. But he's not, he's not a gangster. I said, yeah, I know he's not a gangster. Mm. And I said to him, and I said, you need to stay away from all this stuff. Mm. Because... You're not like that. Yeah. So stay away from this stuff. And he goes, yeah, you're right, coach. He said he's going to get everyone back. And mm-hmm. I said, bruv, he's already got he a bag. Let set, listen. He's already got a bag and he wants to get everyone else back. Now I go, next place he's going to go, unfortunately, the is the grave. Mm-hmm. I go, this this never ends well. So uh, this is something I was speaking to my son about. Musa was telling me, um, he's a kid at school, lovely boy. He said he just took, plays Xbox and plays football. O- okay, student. He goes, Dad, he's, uh, I just found out he's doing a life sentence. So what? Because he stabbed someone to death. What? Because yeah, he got involved with some guys. I was like, this is what I'm talking about. Mm. It's just, just slippery slope, isn't it? Even I think even a lot, you can tell a lot about a kid as well. Even well, um, how they interact with their parents. Probably. So you, you touched on the point, like yesterday we had competition, yeah? So me and Amir were saying, a lot of the students fought. They didn't perform as well as we would like them to, but... You go home as a coach and you feel a little bit... It burns. It does, yeah, yeah. It burns in a sense that... It, what, what hurts as well is that do you feel like you let them down mm. that they didn't? They weren't able to perform? So they mm. won't see that side of it. It's mm. like, even though you lost, I've lost with you. Yeah. I lost with you and it's like, now you start questioning, you think, okay, did, I, did, did he do enough uh, this stuff? Did he, what, mm. what the pitfall for them is when they start doing stuff like, uh, like I said to you, they start blaming everyone else. Mm. Oh, the referee done this. Oh, he's no, against he us. This person. That. So, I, so I, I, I said to the, I said, no one's against you. And that, that attitude in anything, in life, in business or anything, yeah. when you start blaming other people rather than taking responsibility for yourself, why did I lose? Yeah. Why did I let this guy mount me? Why couldn't I escape mount? Yeah. Or why couldn't I pass his guard? So yeah. there were actual technical issues yeah. that you couldn't get past. The referee didn't stop you from passing yeah. his guard. Yeah. You yeah. couldn't get out of his guard. Yeah. So now you have a problem with your technique. And then, then what I did, what, what I said to them is, look at um, all the series of techniques that I've taught you. Could you have used uh, them in that situation? If that answer is yes, then you've got to, you've got to work harder that in those, te- in those techniques. If the person done something that we've never seen before, like he just jumped on your neck and he done some moves some that we never... magical never, move. And, and you've never seen that before. Okay, cool. Then there might have been a coaching problem. Okay, you're not ready for that level. Maybe something's not there. 
But if we've shown if we've shown you how to escape from mount side mount and you was side mount, you're actually get, getting the guy in the headlock. Then there's a technical issue there. Mm-hmm. That's not my. That's, that wasn't my. That wasn't my fault. That's <laughs> or doing your karate fault. chops on the guy's throat. Yeah, correct. Doing karate chops on the. You get it? so it's not something that as a coach, it's like okay, we need to highlight this. Now, if you still say to me that oh the ref, the ref d- made me lose, then that's the issue. That's a red flag, bro. That is issue yeah. because what you're doing is you're not taking responsibility for yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah. Also, do you think that martial arts? Two is... Seconds, two seconds. Oh, oh yeah, so finish. Sorry, sorry, no, sorry, no, sorry, I, I finished, finish, but just just a point because yeah, it went in my head. You find that a lot of people do that in life. Mm. You're not where you want to be because, and again, Rocky part slightly oh, six or whatever or eight, <laughs> where Five. he's talking about um, oh, his son, his son, where yeah. he got, he's saying to him that you're blaming everyone else for where you want to be in life. Mm. You do it. Go and do it. No one's stopping you. But nowadays, you no one can stop you from doing anything. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, just to pick up on what you said, martial arts is about self awareness, bro. Mm. Knowing yourself, isn't it? Yeah. Like if you haven't, if you've been training martial arts and you don't know yourself, that means you haven't been training martial arts, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Real talk. Technique is just a, a, an expression of how well you know yourself. Yeah. Like I know that I'm not a triangle guy. I can't do that. Yeah. Or or my weakness is this. So therefore, I'm I'm gonna do this to kind of uh, combat that weakness, and that bleeds into your daily life. If you if you wake up in the morning and all you're thinking about is, I've been around people like that, bro. Like, and I, it's very difficult to be around someone like that because those people can only exist around people like them. Like, if you're with someone, I remember like a few years ago, I bumped, I was, I was, I was in a shop just up the road from Legion. Uh, some of the guys in the area opened the, the shop, and uh, local boys, yeah. And um, I was, I was chatting to them. I was like, Look, the guys I grew up in the school with, yeah. One time, I was walking past my mom's house, and they were there chatting. Yeah, and but we're in our thirties, bro. Yeah, so we're chatting, and then now I just say, "Oh, I'm a, you know, you know, you meet like school friends." That's so I, I want to chat to them, and I, I, I've kind of said, you know, after you said hello and everything, they started talking amongst themselves, and I'm just standing there, yeah. And the conversation literally made me dumber, bro. <laughs> but you know, when you feel your brain getting like I'm like, wow, all they were talking about is what this person was wearing, yeah, yeah. that person was driving. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to this party and that guy was looking at me like this. And it was n- ooh, there was no retro- the introspect- introspective talk. Mm. There was, I'm not saying you have to be deep every time, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes you're like, Ra, you've, you've actually- You're saying the same conversation you, with your sister. This is it. You've I've, regressed. You've regressed. <laughs> or, or like, you've de-evolved. I don't know if, correct me if I'm wrong. I heard this from somewhere, bro, yeah? It says that, you know when you, it's the, when you, when you so, some people who, who experience big traumas in their life, yeah, they stop growing at that age. So if you, if, you, if for example, at nine years old, you experience like a big trauma in your life, some, like that age is what you'll be until you get over that trauma, bro. Mm. So some, some mans are walking around like they're 14 years old. Yeah. 40s, 50s. But they're in their fifties, bro, but because they've experienced something that they haven't even had the... No, but I think, you know what it is? It's an excuse to use that, that trauma is what's going to... So basically... It's like yeah, but they're not even... It's a safety net. Yeah. Now, it becomes yeah. a safety net. So I, I'm not where I want to be in life because all oh, this happened to me when I was 12. That's exactly it, bro. Yeah. That's exactly what... Yeah, that you, you, case in point, yeah? yeah? Like, they haven't done that work internally, mentally, bro. Because as you get older, you should be able to look back into yourself and think, I don't like about, I don't like that about myself. I should I, improve. I always try to do one thing. Every year, I want to be... I want, I, want to, I want my personality to change a little bit in a sense of... Um, all right. In the sense of that, like, I grow as a person a little bit. Mm. Every year, yeah. I shouldn't be, Khalid shouldn't still think exactly how I did last year. Yeah, yeah. I need to think a little bit different. Okay, I have a different view on this. And that's why I said to you, like if you ask me yeah. about people leaving and yeah. this, all this stuff, like a few years back, I'll be like, yeah, I was really upset about it. But like, now nah, I was like, I don't really care, bro. So that, that it's got, it goes back to what, what we're all saying really is Maslow's hierarchy of effect in it. Mm. So if you look at, the pinnacle of anything is self-actuation, how can you be better? But to get to that, there's certain levels, physiological needs, safety needs, love, being loved, loving others, and then et cetera, et cetera. And I think this is, this is where, as coaches, we're trying, to, we're trying to implement that in everyone that we meet. And I think few people actually can see it, but most of them, like you said, they just see you as a tool. You know? and, 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 and like you're saying, it's very difficult to be... Um, this is my Persian side coming now, brother. It's very hard to like disengage from someone. You're like, 
you know, and I think just a little bit, and, and you know, you guys always hear me, and you're like, oh, man, I need a little bit of North African in me. That, that would have sorted me out years <laughs> <Yeah>. ago. <laughs> no, you but know? I feel like, I feel like to be a coach, you have to be empathetic. You have to be. You can't not, you can't be a coach and mm. not have empathy, bro. But I, I think that's impossible. Comes, it comes back to that whole two paradigms, isn't it? Coach is selfless. Athlete has to be selfish. Yeah. You know, I, I remember some guy said he coaches and was athlete. I said, you can, but it's hard. If you really want to coach, you've got to basically switch off everything. And that's what I was, when you know people say to us, oh, you're going to fight. And I'm like, let me tell you something. Yeah. If we have to fight, we close our clubs down. Yeah. We go live back home in the mountains, train with the national team. Yeah. And then I'll be back after but six that, months. That's what, that's, like that. See, when I, when I was fighting and I was coaching at the same time, what I, what I did was, it was basically, I gave up all my duties. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. So you have so, to hand it over. Yeah, it was like, I'm no, longer, I'm no longer the owner of the gym. No, I'm, no longer, I'm, I'm not, now a fighter. Yeah, anyone comes to me, I'm not dealing with that. I've got to speak to that person. Yeah. So I now had to... F- you have to get into that fight mode. And yeah, it's selfish. It's selfish. You and it's selfish be. because you it is about be. yourself. You but you have to. You have to. You have to because, bruv, you're the one getting punched in the face. Yeah, bruv. That's yeah. What you're going to literally die, bro. You that's could, what, you that's could die. I, that's what I used to tell people. I said to my girl, I have to be like this. Some people you switch off, say, right, yeah. I'm going to now train yeah. well. And even like, uh, so even like my training, I kept trying to jump into the classes. I thought, oh, I'm not getting to train, so let me jump into the classes. I found that difficult because as soon as my mode, my mind, and I would get angry, I'd go to train. Because my mind, okay, I'm going to teach the class, but I'm going to train as well. I go to teach and I start showing the move. I start training, but some coach, I don't understand something. You're like, yeah. Uh, yeah. But then what <laughs> happens is, now your training stops, you go and help. Yeah. yeah. But then after, I'm like, I didn't train, I didn't train. Yeah. So what I did, I separated it. I have to train on my own. Yeah. So I train, always train in the morning. Yeah. And I'll train after the class or, so or I come to Legion so and stuff. So and, that, and that's it. That's, that's my so training done. It, it has to be work it, around I feel it. Like also that mindset is really important. You have to disengage it. I'm, I, I can't. I'm going to coach now. So like you said, I train hard in the morning, do my cardio, my lifting, my weights, my swimming. And then once a week, maybe open mat, right? This is about, uh, yeah. that's it. I'm going to go, you know. I think even it. having a family holds you back, bro. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 so but say, for example, well, life, you weren't though. married, like you this weren't. This is life, though. Huh? This is life. Yeah, it's life. It's Look, life that's yeah. why they say it's a young man's sport. Yeah, look, yeah, and, yeah. And, if, and, and I gave the analogy to a couple of guys when they were younger. I said, look, this is, this is how I feel life is. When you're young, you've got this like light summer jacket on. And you're bopping down the road, then you get to you see Amir. He goes, "Oh, bro, can you hold this for me?" And you put it in your pocket, mm. and you carry on walking. You meet your wife; she gives you something, put it in your pocket. You have kids. Now, now that jacket starts getting heavy, mm. and basically, still what the hell did you give him, bro? No, no, I'm saying this. <laughs> yeah. You're still trying to get to your destination, yeah, yeah. but it's just it's slower. It's slower. Oh, it's more effort. Yeah. It's more effort, yeah. and it's more effort. And some people can get there, but it's just effort now because those those burdens. Are your responsibilities? Yes. So. That's why, I, bro. Like I said, to, I remember when I went to um, when I was at the UFC uh, PI and stuff. Yeah. And we were just talking to some friends. I said, "Listen, I go, bruv, To be honest, I know some guys from my area that will smash all you lot. Mm, 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 mm. Life never let him happen. Ne- never let yeah, him gave get him. Yeah, yeah. So. It was Allah Subhanahu It wasn't written for them. Yeah. Injuries. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they Life, had. They had. Family. Someone got sick in their yeah, ha- in their yeah, household. They have yeah. to look after their mom. Put that. Put that aside. Death, loads of stuff, bruv. And it's like, it's a blessing that you're here. It was written for you, alhamdulillah. But don't take that for granted. Don't don't, yeah. don't be arrogant about it. Yeah. Because I know some brothers in the area that will whoop, whoop the, wipe the floor with all of you lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just, you, you, they're, not, they're, they're not seen. Yeah, it's yeah. Bro, I, see, I, bro, I remember I went to a boxing club and I was training in Walthamstow. I walked in and there was this guy hitting the bags. Mashallah, no top one, bruv, ripped. He looked about, I would say 20 years old, yeah? Mm. Pop, 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 pop. Technique was on point and everything. So to the coach, who's that guy? He goes, oh, sugar. I go, man, when's he fighting? He ain't fighting. Bro, he retired like a long time ago. He's like 46 years old. Bro, he looked 20. He goes, but no one ever knew mm. he had problems in his life and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when I watched it, as a coach, when I saw him, I yeah, was like, this, guy's on point. this guy is yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, what did that Dan Jenner, Don Jenner, that? John Danaher called them gym monsters. Yeah, yeah. Because these guys, you don't see them, and then you, you, and there was one, there was one. Look at Alderman with Alamo Bank. Alamo Bank, Alamo Bank, Alamo Bank. Much better, yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, if this guy entered like ADCC, <laughs> 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 it'd be a problem. It'd be a problem, bro. Abdurrahman, Abdurrahman. Wait, let me tell you story. Abdurrahman, yeah. Abdurrahman, yeah. Yeah, bro. We were doing guard passing. Guard, I have bro. To this day, I still laugh. Yeah, you had to pass the guard. Yeah, you know he done. From guard, he suplexed someone. Yes, <laughs> Fit, bro. You know what he done? 
He opened his legs, put his legs behind him, grabbed the guy, body lock. No, no, one second, one second. Yeah, that's what I'm saying to you. Yeah. No. So he op- so he so body locked someone. Wait, wait. He's you're in his guard right. and you gotta pass. You know what he done? He opened his legs, <laughs> put his knees on the floor, <laughs> body locked him, and then How did he get from <laughs> Mama, let me tell you something? That's what I'm saying to you. Yeah, Allah Mubarak. That's what I'm about. That's what's up. Even Abdurrahman. Dagestani. Dagestani Abdurrahman, yeah. bro. Like, uh, I'll still remember the day he made me see camels, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he put me in the head of Namcho. It was one of my first lessons, yeah? Put me in the head of Namcho. I don't know how he got there. And I'm like, oh my God, there's camel. Oh, I'm going to pass out. <laughs> 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 but he's a lot flexible, oh, fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but obviously life, 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 bro. Life hit him. Yeah. You know, and I think I think that there's a lot of those guys. Like Wait, bro, there's some. I've met, I've met so many. As I said to you, that, like it's it's like you know when they're in when they're in it, and it's like oh, I, I, I've made it. And you think so? Yeah, 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 it's been written for you, bro. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, like appreciate. I saw it. this thing that the other day, like a short, you know, YouTube short. Yeah, it's basketball player. I can't remember what his name was. Yeah, he was like a wicked basketball player, bro. Um, played for Miami Heat or something like NBA player, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Some guy was driving and he saw him on the street, bro. Bro, he looked like a crackhead. Yeah. Oh, I saw this. You see that one? I saw it. he's homeless and stuff now. I don't know if he's homeless. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's but, a crackhead. He's, a, he's homeless. But, but, but he's not well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They were chatting to him. Miami Heat. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, Miami he, Heat or he going, to drugs. Nixon, going to drugs, drugs, but he had some mental health issues. Bro, can you, you know what he said to them? He goes, sometimes I can't even remember I played basketball. Yeah. Wow. He, he's got MS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like some sort of something, something wrong with him. I think it's neurodegenerative disease. Yeah, no, no, some, he, some he didn't have, he didn't have that. He was suffering. No, no he had some disease. Ment- like a, like a, 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 I think it's Alzheimer's, something like that, bro. Yeah, but he is losing his memory. He can't even remember. He goes, sometimes I forget that I played basketball. Wow. Is he old? No, bro. He's like probably 40, 45. Yeah, I, 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 thought, I thought he was got into drugs and stuff. Got yeah, he got into drugs. Yeah, he had he had mental health issues. Got into drugs. And then so as a again, result of so that... again, look at this, yeah? Goes back to what? Where was the coach? Yeah. So was, he, was he just a trainer, who a cash cow? But, when, like, you but, but, but when, you, when you're playing pro level, yeah. it it's, is basic. Because I... I, I yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Look, Sheikh, Manchester United, like, do you, do you follow up football? There he is. No, no, I'm just saying, do you... Yeah, that's him, yeah. Delonte West. Look at him, bro. Oh, my word. Go scroll down, Zach. Late 90s, bro. Look, this, right? Yeah. Look at him now. Look at, go go down and look at before the picture. Look at him before. before. Cavaliers, yeah. He played with LeBron, bro. Wow. That's how your life just got that, bro. Yeah. So we've got a break for Maghreb, bro. Yeah, come on. Yeah, and then we'll just finish up, inshallah. inshallah. And we're back. All right, so let's uh, take this home, yeah? So we, we started off by the top five uh, martial arts movies, yeah? So we need a definitive list. Because you guys threw a lot of uh, films at me, yeah? It's too many. So let's start with number five. It's too but, many. But, but before we start with five, can I just say one film that never, ever got sorted We're out? We're never going to get five. Top no, five no, no, no. <laughs> was uh, Game of Death. Oh, yes. That broke my soul because... For years, I actually thought Bruce Lee was still alive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so yeah. hold on, Game of Death, it was finished. No, it wasn't finished. It came yet. after his... Yeah, so they had like cutouts. And yeah. If that you watch was, it, it's actually Bruce cutouts. Lai, Bruce Lee, yeah. what was this? Bruce Lou. Yeah. Those, what is that? No, but it was a. Bru- it started off with Bruce Lee, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Game of Death was with, uh, what's his name? Kareem 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 innit? Yeah. yeah. So they shot a lot of bits, but then they had... They never made it. They never, he never finished. And that's not the actual story that he wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. They mix, missed yeah. it up bad, bro. And then um, if you actually watch it, there's a lot of like cutouts of Bruce Lee yeah. and stuff. So it's not actually <laughs> him. Yeah. cutouts. Watch it again. Like just like someone standing there in a photo. No. Yeah, I think they'd watch it. It's like, there's a lot it's of like, really, really bad. I've got to watch it. Yeah, yeah, there was one where he had uh, an operation. What was that one? Like remember, oh, he got oh, shot in the face. That was it. That was, that that was, was game, game of death. death. That was game of death. Yeah, to make it like. Oh, it finished because he got shot in the face yeah, or whatever, yeah. and, and then, then, he like, then he looked completely different, bro. Yeah, yeah. So that, that was else. Bruce Lai. Yeah, or something. Right, right, right. right Absolute right, lot right. of trash. Oh, but anyway. Yeah. yeah so terrible. okay. Ain't gonna happen. Top five. No, no we got to do it. It's not gonna happen, bro. It's arbitrary, bro. It's it's not like it's what we think. Yeah, I know, but okay. Top three. Okay, top three. I can't think of top three. If you can only watch, I would say. Definitely Enter the Dragon has to be top three, bro. Yeah, okay. 
Enzo the Dragon. Personally. I, 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 let, 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 me, let me tell you which ones I probably white because most influential for me okay, go on. was probably Van Damme movies. Yeah. Go on, which one was so your So Bloodsport, Blood yeah. Kickboxer. Um, Kickboxer. It's just them two, isn't it? Really. Bloodsport, Kickboxer and probably AWOL. AWOL. I did yeah, like but AWOL. AWOL was like... Do you know why I like AWOL, bro? Because it had that really wicked black actor. Dark. He goes, Lion Heart. <laughs> Lion <laughs> you think she cares? Because it's all on you, Lion. <laughs> Bro, that guy. You know, but the thing is, that it's actor. like it was a caricature of a, what a black person was. That was kind of like every every film had a black guy like that, bro. Which is both the same the same guy in Kickboxer, bro. He goes, he goes, oh, yeah. bro. come on, it's, I know it's the same actor, but it's the same That's character, bro. Yeah, 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 you yeah, look yeah. at, hey, it's kind of like copy really? and paste, bro. Yeah, yeah. There was no depth to that yeah, character, but, but, bro. But, but, but that's 80s, but that's 80s isn't it? You can't like, but it's like how Arabs in the 80s are all, like, yeah, yeah. And they get sh run into gun, but gunfire. It's like Back to the Future, yeah. the Libyans are coming. Yeah. Like that, there was no thought, like all Chuck Norris films. I used to love Chuck Norris films. Oh my God, Delta Force. Oh my God. One man motorbike with two missiles takes on the whole of that. Arab Peninsula. <laughs> oh, oh my man. god. Okay, so um, okay, you pick your top three. You pick, and I'll pick my top three. Then that I, I, you'd watch over and so over I, again. Bloodsport, I watched over and over again. Okay. Um, I think Kitbox, I watched over and over again, yeah. and probably uh, another one that I used to like watching. I did uh, probably Universal Soldier. Hmm. I like Universal Soldier. It, it kind of had a proper storyline, didn't yeah. it? That was All good. right. What about top, top three? I, top I, three. Look, my top three definitely Bloodsport and Kickboxer, and unfortunately, it has to be a wall. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know what it is? It's what Kay was saying. It's I can watch it again and again. The yeah. thing is, Fist of. Uh, 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 oh no! Actually, uh, look, can I add one in? Sorry. Go on, go on. The remake of Fist of Fury with Jet Li. With Jet Li, yeah. I haven't good. seen that one. That was good. Really good. Yeah. Really good. Really, I, I, I could watch that again and again and again. That was good. Do you know what? You know those those films. Like Enter the Dragon, there was too much people getting like it was just too much emotion. The the black gentleman put in the acid and the other it was just like No, but you know what I liked about Enter the Dragon? It was like almost like a Hollywood film. Yeah, it was kinda raw. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the way it was shot and like you know, most Kung Fu films before that were shot a little bit different, innit? Mm. Does that make sense? And you had Western actors in it as well, which kind of translated well over. So that for me was one of the first Bruce Lee films. Actually, but, probably but, the first Bruce Lee film. But the Van Damme films, bro. It really was just action. I, I, yeah. do, 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 I, do, do you know what I said about Van Damme stuff? For me, it was like, I was influenced to, do get, up, to yeah. get up and do stuff. Mm, I mm, think that's mm. why I liked it so much. Did you did so, you start kickboxing because of that? No, I think it was before that. I started way before, before that. that. I, like, I, I watched, uh, my first martial arts movie that I watched was Jackie Chan Project A. Wow. Do you remember that? Old school. Yeah, that was my first. How about Police Story? Police Story. Yeah, one, bro, two, those three. Fight yeah. one, two, three. So that's what I said to you. So when you watch it, you go, I, I want to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was already yeah, like, yeah. I used to go around the house jumping on the sofas and that stuff, which I think every kid that would have done. I think we had, my, my I would say, the Karate Kid for me was number one. Because okay. we had the videotape at home. Remember, Zach? Yeah. We would watch it almost every week. Yeah. yeah. Rewind. Zach, Zach, yeah, at nine years, oh, six, seven years old, he knew the whole dialogue, bro. Yeah. Like we'd get, we'd get him to, to like, remember? Yeah, bro. We'd act it out for him. Come you here. here. <laughs> you <saw> that, yeah? <laughs> so correct, I think Enter the Dragon really had a big impact on me, bro. I'd, I've watched that so many times. Yeah. And it used to come on TV quite a bit, innit? Yeah. Then they crapped on it with the new, um, the new one with uh, Jackie Chan and... Uh, Oh, you're talking about Karate Kid? Oh, yeah, oh, no, that oh, wasn't Karate Kid, bro. Oh, yeah. my they crapped God. Up. That was Kung Fu as well. How about Karate Girl? Girl? Who was it? Jennifer? Was no, that the, the Karate Kid 4. Oh, the next oh, Karate Kid. 3, 3, yeah. Free, yeah. yeah. yeah the mm. next Karate Kid. Nah, that was what was that, that girl? What was it? I forgot um, her name. And I think... Electra, what was her name? Jennifer. Yeah. Jennifer Garner. Garner Jennifer yeah. Garner, yeah. And I think after those two, like, there's a lot in between, yeah? But the, the next film that I watched, I was like, whoa, was Ong Bak. Oh, I'm back, I'm back yeah, with Wicked. Bruv, that was the first film the first one. As, a, as a teenager. When I watched it, I was like, this is like the films back in the day. Yeah. Violent. It, it was different. Like, Muay Thai wasn't really done. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It came it? out of nowhere as well, bruv. It kind of came out of nowhere. The double knees, bro, double the knees, elbows, through the elbows. 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 The yeah. The all that stuff, bruv. That, that for me. So, on back would be top three for me, bruv. I think I, I, I'll throw one bonus one, which is Universal Soldier. 
Mm. Because I like the science fiction element of it. There's too many though. There's loads, there's so loads. If you actually got, but I had, I had like a CD collection of all the old oh my God. martial arts movies. Oh my God. Like every single one, bro. Like, I'd like, like a whole box. Why, why, why couldn't they do what they do with like Xbox games? They have like, you know, there's one the box game. box sets. No, one game that covers 360 or 400, oh, all the old Sega games, Sega Masters. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they, I remember like in the early that, 2000s bro, when I... One like... Uh, CD. One CD, like Because it's, you know... This how I know you're not in, in you don't know anything about computers, <laughs> yeah. So you want one C D can we okay, let me, can he we said C D by the way, that, yeah. That, can we remind everyone about the about the power source? <laughs> this is how I know your skills only fit in the doctor realm, yeah? Because a C D, do you remember how much a CD, how many megabytes in a CD, bro? One megabyte. It's like no, eight hundred, bro. That's it. That's like seven hundred and something megabytes. So if you used to burn because I used to burn CDs, yeah, back right. in the day. Yeah. Um you don't. You can only get one film. But if you want to put a whole back catalog of martial arts films in one CD, like on the Xbox, man. I don't know. But on the hard drive, yeah, definitely, bro. I remember in the early two thousands when remember Napster, Napster, oh my and God. and Donk was it? Um, was it Napster. Mule? Uh, but N- Napster used to be like a music thing, innit? Yeah, but you can download movies yeah. as well, bro. Oh, okay, yeah. So LimeWire, LimeWire, Lime 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 that's it. All that stuff. Lime I used to actually Wire. get wow. CDs from Tottenham Court Road. You know those, uh, and burn it on my thing, and I, I, I had I all the. We still got them, bro. You still got them, innit? Yeah. We used to make, and then I used to, I used to I used code to them so that I can actually okay. put in a DVD player, bro. So I used to do it with all of the anatomy stuff like that. Way I found Such a whole a bunch of, on live Yeah, <laughs> I found a whole bunch of uh, dissections, and I was what like, do you mean anatomy? You know, like basically prosections. You'd cut. Over, this is this. You know, you know all of the well, cadavers. actual live. No, but what cadavers are dead, dead. People. Yeah, but actual <laughs> dead bodies, bro. Yeah, it was actually documented. What filmed? Yeah, you, 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 they're, they're called dissections or prosections. Do you see the face and everything? No, no, obviously they cover up certain limbs. Or is, if you're doing upper, like thorax, upper limb, lower limb, head and neck, whatever it was, perineum, they'll just show that particular part of the body. But I remember having them, and obviously I'd never, can't be bothered to put a CD in and press play and wait for it. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. you've got to somehow find how to press play because there, there's no CD function. Oh anymore. my God, someone was like doing a breakdown of Robocop, yeah, the other day. And he goes, you know what the scariest thing about Robocop is? But when he when he said it, I was like, raw, that's mad, bro. He goes, you remember was, was it Robocop 2 when they when they transplanted that guy's brain into the thing? Oh, oh that yeah. was Kane. Yeah, yeah. Kane. Kane. He said, imagine this, yeah. He Not goes, Kane from Wales, wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> imagine this, yeah. He goes, his brain and his eyes were a thing. He goes, imagine he was look, the guy was walking around with the guy's head in it. His face. Remember, they, they peeled off his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, imagine, he's seeing all this, he can't even scream, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He goes, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, think about it, eyes, it's yeah. only his eyes and his brain. He goes, how frightening is that, bro? Yeah. When you come to think about it. Is that possible, though? Huh? Nah. He'll be dead. Of course, this, hello. It's, it's a, a rob- film, bro. Robocop. It's a film, bro. Boom. Okay. Remember, remember, see, he goes, you think you're smart? Can you smart a bullet? But Robocop 1. Wicked. Legendary, bro. Yeah. And then oh they made the... I watched, uh, I watched Predator a couple of days ago. Oh my God. Such a good movie, though. Was Predator the one where... Um, when we see when he said... And, he's, and he breaks things. He they, they're trying to do... They're trying to do a pre... Prequel yeah, Native yeah. Americans yeah. or whatever. Mm, I don't know. About I don't know about that. Bro. It looks good. It looks that good. One. It's yeah, called yeah. Prey, but it looks yeah. it, it looks Prey, good. Yeah, but yeah. it's on Disney and it's only yet. Uh, it's like a, a, 15 a twelve. No, no, no. So I was like, nah, it's not. Okay. <laughs> it has to be eighteen. Bro. But I want Arnie to come back, bro. Yeah, he can't come back. Come on, do it. Uh, but he, he's, he's looking trim now. What are you bro. waiting for? Ah, <laughs> come on, on. <laughs> get to the chopper. Yeah. But what about his big ah, Austrian? Ah, that, that's what it was about. Yeah. Chop! Ah, come on! Ah, that was it. That's what he was said, isn't it? The best thing he goes, ah, punching pencils too much. Was that? Uh, see, the thing with Predator, bro, yeah? When you look back at it, it was ahead of his time, bro. Yeah, it's amazing. That's what I said. We were talking about this yesterday. I go, I go, you got to think, think about this, yeah? Predator, at that time, there was nothing like it. Nothing no, like so it. So no. it was like Wicked usual, thing. you see these action movies. They go to the jungle and it turns into a horror. Yeah, yeah. It's and crazy, isn't like, it? It just flips, bro. Do you remember, do you remember, the, yeah. remember the intestines from that guy? Yeah, he oh pulls it out. God, yeah. That's crazy. And I never understood. And right. a very multicultural uh, yeah, cast, why, didn't it? Why, why did Billy stay there, bro? Can I, I never, okay, I okay, never, okay, I always just get everyone. Do you remember, do you know why? Is that enough? No, 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 do you know what? Do you know what it was? It's when Apollo Creed goes, Billy goes, you know, man, 
And then he goes, he goes, what's doing? And, he, and then Puerto Creek goes, the boy smell well. It's really hot out here. <laughs> <laughs> bro, he starts to be going, he's not well. It's quite hot out here. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. But bro, they were specimens, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Polo Creed. Bro. You had uh, Jesse Ventura in there? Yeah, Jesse Ventura. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesse Ventura. Ain't got no time to bleed. Yeah, ain't got no time to bleed. So if you look at, like, there's no one compared to them, like, like Arnie. Nah, nah. They're trying to make the rock into him, but there's no way, no, no way. And I the think the, 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 the block the, the, is a diet version of Arnie, man. No way in the same they way. Had, no. See the thing with Arnie? They had this edge, bro. That char- charismatic. Yeah, Do you know what was the problem with rock, bro? problem with rock, and if you're watching this rock, there's a problem. The problem with rock is um, he done too much of those comedy films. Yeah. yeah and yeah, he done yeah. the WWE thing. Okay, well, I mean, Arnie done... I think WWE double. is fine, bro, but yeah, like... Yeah, no, but as in, as in it's, it's not... It, Arnie always done action. Then he done some couple of stupid. But kids. also Arnie, Arnie, Arnie didn't care about acting. Do you understand? Like Rock is too into like you know like that kindergarten. Like he wants yeah, to yeah, be. Yeah. He's done like like he played this guy who plays the guitar, singing, and he's done. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Arnie's yeah, like yeah. now, nah, bro. I want to blo- like shoot. Yeah. Like, there's this whole thing about how many mans he's killed in the Remember film. Remember that right? him and Stallone they had that thing. Yeah. How can you the, body, yeah. the body count. Yeah, the body, body count. count. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was like Stallone won the one, no? <laughs> yeah, definitely in that Rambo film. Yeah, Rambo three. <laughs> The way he cut them down with that gun. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we got it then, yeah? Well, everyone's got their own one, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah. It's endless, I'm bro. Sh- it's endless. But I, I feel- guarantee on the way home, you're going to make me think. I'm going to start thinking of some other ones. I'm not, what was that film you said to watch again? Um, the Jackie Chan one you said it was really good. Project A. Project A. Yeah. yeah Wicked yeah, film. Watch it, man. Project and A. Police and Police Story. I think that, that's is, is police story, isn't it? No, no, no. it was uh, where he's a sailor. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh wow, man, so good. You know, I know I mean, have you seen Police Story, man? I've. Do you know what it is, bro? Three, it's three or four. Like, yeah, it's I've three, meant yeah. to watch it. Oh, here we go. You've never seen Police Story? No, nah, no. Nah. Come on. Bro. I've seen. I've seen. You know, like because, this, b- because this, back in the day, it's either it's on TV or whatever. So I'd watch like the end of it or the beginning of it. I've never watched the you whole. Know, you know the new Jackie Chan. Yeah. This was like. Prime Jack Chan, yeah. all that Project A, yeah, yeah. Police Story One, Two, Three, Bob. Watch, watch him fighting that. So I, I've watched Drunken Wilson Master, Hills. those ones, and then I kind of you know those middle ones like uh, I watched Rumble in the Bronx. Nah, rubbish. It's, I didn't really like it, bro. Rub- rubbish, bro. Um, I watched. That's towards the end when he started yeah, coming that, to America. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that's that's how I caught Jack. Like, that middle died. bit, Police Story bit, I didn't really watch. <laughs> that's it. the best bit, bro. Yeah. But you to watch that, you you yeah. appreciate him even more. Oh, and then I got into Korean stuff in it, like in. Um, uh, there was one. It's not Korean. Uh, Infernal Affairs. I saw that. The, yeah. the Departed is based on yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. And then Old Boy and those. I just remember those. another one. Do you remember Choi Young Fat? Oh my word. Choi Young Fat. How old yeah. is that, bro? What the a- actor? Actor Choi Young Fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he used to. He made. Um, Choi Young Fat. He made uh, some other films where they play police officers and stuff. Uh, what's it called? He he played this. He, then he got into Hollywood as well, wasn't it? Choi Young Fat. Yeah, then he got into Hollywood. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember him. Yeah, he's yeah. made loads, 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 all, all these guys, bro. That time, bro, he's sixty-seven, bro. Six-seven, yeah. Wow. I wonder how old Jackie Chan is. Bro. Oh, about seventy. Jackie Chan must be seventy. Yeah. Like when he made The Foreigner, that was quite. Oh, that was a very deep film. Bro. Yeah. Bro, he's sixty-eight. Who yeah. Jackie Chan? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about right, bro. It's about right. He looks good, though. Let me see. <laughs> what you want to see? What he looks like now? Yeah. Uh, one second, Jackie Chan, bro. What do you reckon? Hair transplant always does a trick. Do you reckon it? his hair transplant, bro? I don't know. Now he's, uh, I mean, you don't see many bald Chinese guys, man. You Bomber see a lot being, of them. Well, Master Wong is bald, do. bro. You see all of them. Wong, oh, Master Wong. Still podcasting him, bro. Master, bro. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. He looks like he's had enough, bro. Oh yeah, yeah he's done with that. <laughs> he's done, he's done with the. Life is uh, done. Uh, Chris Tucker goes. I, I went to I went to China with his son, didn't it? He goes. Jackie Chan knows everything. You want to go to my hotel? Yeah, it's my hotel. You want to eat? This? It's my restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that clip? No. <laughs> he owns everything. He goes. He goes. Jackie, Jackie, where are you going? <laughs> he goes. He goes everywhere he goes. Yeah. He goes. I came here to see you. He goes. No, you come to my hotel. You go to. Oh, it's freaking hilarious, bro. Oh, that's too much. All right, boys. I think we will end on that, inshallah. Um, so, guys, thank you for tuning in, and um, we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>